Okay, City Skylines 1, I'd like you to create a road on this map. The road needs to be... There you go! What, no, well, uh, the road needs to, to be elevated. Okay, elevated road, there you go! The road needs to be elevated and in a hilly section, and it needs to be level enough to look realistic. What do you mean realistic? Well, where the angle of the road on incline or decline is not greater than 4% and preferably not greater than 2%. Why do you need those numbers? Well, these are standards for highways around the world, so that way trucks hauling major loads don't have to strain their engines going up or down. Oh, okay. Well, where's the hilly section? It's over there to the northeast. Okay, well, let's just WASD over there. Oh, this part? Yeah, over here. Let's build a road through that. Just go east to west. Go across that hill section. Oh, it's going to be nutty looking. What do you mean? It, it shouldn't be nutty looking. Yeah, well, because watch, I'm Vanilla Skylines, and I do it this way! There you go. Oh, yeah, that is nutty looking. Ugh, gross. What do you mean, gross? Well, I mean, look at those inclines. They're huge. How do you know? Well, I mean, just look at them. Uh, they look fine to me. <sighs> well, what if I had a tool that could show you the numbers behind these lines? Uh, it doesn't exist. Yes, it does. It's it's a mod. I don't like mods. Well, no, no, mods are fine. They, they take up too much RAM. No, th those are assets, and I agree. If you have lots of buildings and trees, it could really weigh down your game, but a few good mods give you a lot of functionality at very little overhead in terms of CPU and memory usage. A, s a computer that has difficulty loading lots of assets may not have a big problem loading mods. So to that effect, I'd like to first start with our network multi-tool here, and I'm going to use the slope mode on it. Now, that's weird. No, 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 it's not weird. Here we go. What we're going to do with it is we're going to start at the beginning, and we'll click on one of these nodes. There it goes. goes green. And now we're going to highlight other nodes, and just make sure they turn up green. If they don't, we'll move into a closer node, and we're going to go all the way down the length of this road, and we're going to see what kind of angles we get on the incline and decline. Okay. Hey, 0.1%. We did it. We're good. Well, that's on these two. The others, you see the red? Uh-oh. Yeah. There's some green. Yes, but there's a lot of red and yellow and orange, and that indicates these are not good for driving on. These are way too steep. 14%. Ah, 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 that is insane. And then you're 14% up and 12% down. That's a roller coaster. This is not a good highway for hauling traffic on it. Well, what do you recommend we do? Well, there's two things we could do. Uh, now, the first thing is to use this particular tool. And I just highlight all these and hit enter and it'll come out flat. Like so. Whoa. Yeah, now they're all totally flat. <laughs> How about that? Let me hit right click to clear that information. That is straight and level. Yes, it is. There's a weird bridge in the middle. Yes, there is. We, we can do some things with that as well. What do you mean? Well, the network anarchy tool. It allows us to replace segments very easily. So here we have our three wide highway, and that's an elevated section for everything else, but that's a bridge there. I could go here, force an elevated section, hit the exclamation point, and then we can... Oh, I'm still in the other one. Just a second here. Oh, mod screwed you up. No, 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 no. It's it's fine. I just turned it off. All right, we're back here now. Uh, set that. Boom. Now the bridge is gone, and we have a flat elevated section. What if we want that to be above ground, like over here? Well, it is above ground over here. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way all along the road, especially when we're having these cuts in the mountains. Oh, so you're saying flat is better than staying constantly elevated all the way through? Y yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, because constantly elevated all the way through got us those weird 14 and 10 and 12 percent inclines. Now, these cuts do look a bit sharp. Let's let's soften them up. I'll go here to the softening tool. I've got it about the right width, 217, 200 or so is good. And I'll just go along and all along the length of this highway, we'll smooth it both to reduce the level of depth on the cuts. And then if there's a raised bed area, then it'll also help to smooth that out. And what do we do for the item here? We replace it. That's correct. Boom. And now it's done. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Now there's another way we could handle this without having to do the uh, flattening tool that we did there. What we'll do is we'll go in to build a road, but this time we're going to use our anarchy mod and we're going to say toggle straight slope. And we're also going to force it to use those elevated sections all the way through because we didn't want to have the uh, bridge pieces on it. So we'll have this. 
this and we'll line it up right here and notice that it's starting off elevated and we're just going to match the length of that road all the way through and boom there it is we're going to have to go back and smooth out those cuts again to make them look like the other side but there we are it's identical just perfectly straight and narrow how about that oh well, it's pretty cool so what were those mods you used again those were the network multi-tool, which allowed us to change the elevation, and the network anarchy, which allowed us to change the type of road we did and how we laid it out. Both of these are powerful tools for manipulating roads and city skylines, and we can use them when we edit maps. Another really good one is Move It. This can also do similar functionality to the Network Multi-Tool when we select nodes and we can slope them together or level them. It can also move the nodes around in case we play something that was crooked and wanted to straighten it out. I'd like to show that particular aspect off right here. I'm going to create a row that follows the edge of this mountain and I'd like it to be a curved road so I need to get my curved road tool here we go and we're gonna go this and then like that then I'm gonna swing around this way okay that's how I want it to be or well actually I'd like to be a little closer there so let me get my move it tool and I'll select this node and I can just drag it up here and then I could take this and drag it that way and take this and drag it that way make it come out nice and maybe this one comes around over here maybe up over there I can do things with it maybe I want it to bulge it out that way and said oh wait yeah that's better that's better and then this one here maybe move that up a little bit more and curve it just ever so slightly ah there we go I made those adjustments because I felt I needed to now did I really do them on the map I made for real well maybe not but let's just say for the sake of argument that those are the ones I want it to be exactly how it is on the map that I want it to be so I've used the move it mod to adjust those let me turn off the move it mod and now let me come back to the network multi-tool and now I'm going to use another tool for it the create parallel mode this is going to be pretty cool I just select the nodes that I'm going to copy. All right, as long as they turn green, I can copy them. And if you notice, it automatically puts the traffic in the opposite direction. It knows that this is a freeway and I'm trying to duplicate it. And these are a little close. So if I hit the plus button, hit the, da -da, there we go, here it is. There we go. Now they're further apart by about 10 more meters. So that's 30 feet in between the two. That's a nice clear zone. That's where I want it. I'll hit enter and it'll place them one time. Right click to get off and now look. That has made a parallel road all the way across. The exact same height, the exact same bends, everything. It's just wonderful like that. So this means when we create maps, if we put in a very detailed road that has just perfect terrain following features, we create its twin by using the parallel tool in the network multi-tool. The other aspects of the network multi-tool, well, we could add nodes. This is important if we want to be able to bend things better. For example, between here and here, I could add a node between the two and bend it out. We could remove nodes. If nodes are needing to be joined, we could do that. If we want to split nodes apart, we can. We're able to intersect segments. We can invert segments. We saw the slope mode. We could arrange a line. We could arrange at a circle. We could make a loop-de-loop. -loop. We could make a connection, a curve, the parallel one. And we could even unlock segments. Wait, unlock segments, what does that do? Well, this is gonna be used in the game itself, but remember how you have assets with roads that are built into them? Yeah, sometimes I hate the roads. Well, the unlock segment mode uh -huh. means you click on that road uh -huh. and then you can replace it with some other road. No way! Uh huh, way. So those two way roads in front of the cargo hubs that drive you up the wall, replace them with a one way road. Oh, that's too cool. It is too cool. That's why I like the network multi tool. So when we work with roads, we want to use the network multi tool, network anarchy, which gives us these choices over here and the move it mod which allows us to select nodes and move them around carefully and do all kinds of really cool things with it this is just scratching the surface with it i'm not going to show all the features with them in this video i just wanted to introduce them to you and encourage you to use them when you build out a map use the tree brush 
use the forest mod, use the network multi-tool, use move it, and use network anarchy to make your maps look beautiful. Oh, can you show me an example of a beautiful map? I would love to. Here you go. Here's that same map that we had now with all the trees and water in it. Whoa, you did this? Yes, yes, I, I did this myself. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of trees. It is a lot of trees. Uh, in fact, I think I'm using 447,000 of 250,000 trees. Oh, geez, you modded it. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Go ahead and get the water moving on it. And I'll show you one quick trick here at the very end for all of those of you who stuck around. If you want to make a really good flow, a strong flow without overflowing the banks, here's what you can do. I've got one huge water flow here. It's stacked all the way to the top and then two just next to it that are level with the rest of the terrain. So this one, the water height, you can see that line above it. That's where it is. It's trying to be at a full 1024, but these are each set to be well, roughly the same and they go just at the bank of the river here. So what this means is this is pumping out tons of water, but instead of flooding out the sides, the two next to it suck it up and force the rest of the water down that way. So when we look at our water flow, we got big, beautiful arrows there, all shoving it down that way. And that is a really cool trick you can do to make a lot of water without flooding out your local area. Have the big tall one on the middle and the two little ones on the side. And that will be a good thing. So, hope you enjoyed this. This is where I like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already liked, commented, and subscribed, yes, I'm taking requests about further videos, and I am going to start building out on this map. I have an idea. Oh, yeah, but that's in the next video. So I should hit the bell as well to get the next video. Yes, that, that would be a helpful thing. Okay, well, until next time. No, 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 I say that. Until next time, this is Mr. Dean saying happy city painting, and I hope you enjoy the city you live in as much as you enjoy the city you make. Have fun now. Bye-bye.